Hello everyone, today in this video we will be discussing the 9th uh, program of Medium Theater 57 which is uh, using TCP IP socket write a client server program to make the client uh, send the file name and to make the server send back the contents of the requested file if present ok so diagrammatically what happens is this is the client this is the server ok and server has the database in which the files are stored ok uh, assume, that, uh, assume that these are files ok so what happens is the client will send the file name ok suppose that a file name is abc.txt ok so this is the file name which client will be sending to the server and server will be searching here if the file is present if the file is present the server will be returning the file and uh, to the client and client will be displaying that on the screen the file content ok so this is the main aim of this program so let's uh, see how to upload this uh, program ok so firstly what is our first step our first step is to define the code for uh, client as well as for server ok so let's uh, quickly go through the code of the client and the server so the client and the server's code is the for tcp ok so here is the uh, tcp code for the server firstly what we need we need a server right so here we are defining a server socket server so a server will be defined ok and for input and the output we are defining data output stream and the data input stream ok after we have defined the output input and the uh, server we will be moving on with this part of the code here what we have is uh, a new server will be created and here uh, the output message will be server waiting for the client ok and we have to write this code compulsorily for the server to activate it uh, to get it act activated ok after that uh, print uh, client connected after this um, line of code the client will be connected so the output will be shown client connected and after that the input and the output will be taken here in the in and out and after that uh, in the server side what we need in the server side it, uh, it needs the file name right for that we will be uh, storing the file name here in uh, the variable called file name by uh, using in dot read utf ok by uh, read utf it will be reading the uh, file name in the bytes format in the uh, and it will be stored in the string file name after that it will print out uh, file requested is whatever we have requested the file name that will be printed in the screen after that the files data will be uh, read by the program ok this will search for the path and after that the file content will be uh, uh, a variable for storing the file content will be created and after that by using out dot write utf the output will be written means whatever the file has that will be written in file content ok and that will be converted into string and then if uh, this uh, if this is successful then it will be printed as file sent successfully ok means in the server what happens is the file name is read if that file is present that will be sent to the client ok else if it uh, not present then it will uh, print as file uh, does not exist ok this for the uh, tcp server side now talking about client side what is the main aim the client will send the file name and receive the file content ok so uh, let's uh, discuss how it is in the uh, client side what we will have is the firstly we have to send the file name ok so here we will define the data output stream and the input stream and scanner for getting the file name and it will print out enter the file name to request so it will uh, so whatever we enter that will be stored in in and out will be used to get the output ok and after that write utf file name file name will be sent and after that uh, the file content will be read ok means the server will send the file the content of the file that will be read in utf format and if the file content length is greater than 0 that means the file is not empty it has some content that will be displayed in the screen means in the file content uh, the whole content of the file is uh, saved right so that will be displayed on the screen else if the length is 0 that means the file is empty and the output message will be shown as file is empty ok so this is all basically what uh, we have to know in the ninth uh, program it's just we have to send a file name from the client to the server and the server will send the file content if the file exists else it will show as um, file does not exist ok so yeah, that's it for the ninth uh, week, uh, ninth uh, lab program. And thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.